2D メトロイドの完全新作「メトロイドドレッド」をやっと発表できました。1986年のメトロイドから始まってメトロイド2スーパーメトロイドメトロイドフュージョンと続いてきたシリーズの19年ぶりの最新作そして最新エピソードになりますメトロイドシリーズはサムス・アランという女性バウンティーハンターの活躍を描いたゲームですタイトルのメトロイドっていうのは生物兵器として軍事利用できる浮遊生命体の名前でいろんなトラブルのきっかけになってきましたシリーズではソムメトロイドと主人公サムスとの奇妙な関係性を綴ってきましたが今回はそのストーリーの一区切りとなるエピソードですシリーズファンには一区切りって何やろうと想像しながらプレイしていただきたいですねストーリーは重要ですが決してファンのためだけのゲームではないです基本は 2D アクションゲームなので銀河最強の戦士になりきって暴れてもらえれば誰でも楽しんでもらえるはずですこれが初めてのメトロイドという人でもゲームのプロローグを見てもらえればストーリーがわからないということにはならないでしょうむしろ今作が初メトロイドという人だからこその楽しみ方もあるんじゃないでしょうかねタイトルになっているドレッドの意味は恐怖です無敵のサムスアランを襲う絶望的な恐怖を表すタイトルです行ったこともない惑星で一人で行動するサムスに忍び寄る圧倒的な存在というように今までとは一味違う要素が追加されたメトロイドです実はメトロイドドレッドのアイデアは15年ほど前に思いついたんですよただ当時の技術ではコンセプトをうまく表現できないなぁと思って、まあ、残念ながら諦めましたその後も再チャレンジのチャンスはあったんですがイメージ通りのゲームにまとめられそうにないなぁと思ってまた諦めることになりました正直この企画を諦めることになるかなぁと思ってたんですが 3DS のサムスリターンズを共同開発したマーキュリースティームエンターテインメントがすごく優秀なチームだったんです技術力は高いしセンスもいいし、まあ、なんといってもメトロイドというゲームの理解が半端なかったんですねこの最高のパートナーと組んだらメトロイドドレッドは必ず完成すると確信しましたそして15年前に思い描いた以上のメトロイドドレッドがこうやって完成しましたメトロイドドレッドの特徴は特定のゾーン内をうろついてサムスが立てる物音を感知して近づいてきます視覚センサーで見られてしまうと捕まえるために高速で追いかけてきますサムスの通常の武器は一切効きませんしかも捕まるとほぼ即死これは厳しいですねサムスはそんな恐怖と戦いながらミッションを遂行しなければならないんですね今回のサムスは一段と大変ですねサムスにとってものすごく不利な状況なんですが検知範囲内であっても音を立てなければエミーは気づきません物陰に隠れて見られないようにもできますそして対抗手段の代表格がサムスがエミーから見えなくなるファントムクロークという光学迷彩アビリティですこれの使い方がゲームの進行を大きく作用します歯が立たない敵に見つからないように行動するエミーのゲームパートはメトロイド体系の強烈なスパイスになっていると思いますここまで新要素を中心に話してきましたので全体のゲームデザインが変わっちゃったんじゃないかなと思われたかもしれませんでもそこはご安心ください従来通りのゲーム性に磨きをかけてアクションや探索要素の強化や工夫はバッチリですサムスリターンズのアクションを洗練させてフリーエームやメレーカウンターなどを扱いやすくしました基本アクションとしてスライディングっていうのを追加するなどアクション面はかなりの充実ぶりですのでゲーム体験はより快適になっています当然メトロイドを遊んだことのない方もいらっしゃると思いますので最後にメトロイドの探索要素について簡単に触れておきますねメトロイドは探索型のアクションゲームですパワーアップアビリティを取得するとサムスのアクションがどんどん増える
それらのアクションでサムスの行動範囲が広がっていくという仕組みですこれまでになかったパワーアップアビリティも当然追加しています特定の壁や天井に捕まって移動できるスパイダーマグネットなどはその一例です他にもいろいろありますのでお楽しみにいろいろなアビリティを使う自由度の高い探索は今まで以上だと思いますよりダイナミックになった快適なアクションによる自由な探索と自分が追われる身となって行動する恐怖という2種類の刺激が融合した「メトロイド・ドレッド」はシリーズ経験のあるなしにかかわらず楽しんでいただけます新しいデザインの「メトロイド」をこの後の「任天堂ツリーハウスライブ」で紹介しますダンよろしく、uh, the very beginning of the game. Um, so we're going to backtrack just a little bit to show Samus' uh, free movement here. Um, so like I just spent a little a few missiles, so I'm going to use this uh, interactive here to replenish. Um, but one of the things I want to show here is uh, free aim, which for those that have played uh, Metroid Samus Returns, this has made a comeback. Um, you can see a lot of the, the area around as you use it um, also has this little tracking system that um, when it's uh, targeting an enemy, it'll make that sound. I also want to take a moment to say that as Nate and Sakamoto-san already mentioned, this is the first new 2D Metroid game in 19 years. That's almost two decades. I don't know if you did the math, but uh, that's a lot of years. We've been waiting for this for a long time, so we're, we're really excited to be finally showing this to everyone. <laughs> Here's another returning move from Metroid Samus Returns, which is the melee counter. Um, one of my favorite um, features. Um, and then a new one is, or the development of the melee counter. I'm gonna let that guy move a little bit back. <laughs> Come back. The Melee dash. I really love that because it doesn't break momentum. I can immediately do a counter and immediate damage to an enemy. Yeah, something this game does really well is improve upon the improvements from Metroid Samus Returns. So like you mentioned, we had free aim and uh, the melee counter in that game. And here we have the, running, the running free aim, which gives you even more freedom, and the dash melee. So instead of having to stand sti uh, still and wait for enemies to attack you, you can just go get him, which uh, really uh, has great movement to this game. Yeah, I, I love that like Samus moves so well and it's just all that freedom. It's just this is probably the smoothest I've uh, been able to control Samus in a really long time. Absolutely, and you've opened up the map screen here, something that uh, Metroid fans know to love and adore. <laughs> yeah. uh, the map system is just as important in this game as ever, and it, it really shows you uh, the classic Metroid gameplay. A gameplay progression, which is back in full force in this game, where you look at your map, you identify areas that you haven't been to yet or aren't able to access yet, you try and find another way through, find a new ability, push your way forward, fill in the map, lather, rinse, repeat. So that's back and better than ever, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and this area here is blinking white because there is a something here that I haven't discovered yet. Um, so I could use markers to kind of pinpoint it just in case I don't have an ability. Um, and I have to backtrack here once I'm able to explore it. Um, yeah, don't sleep on those markers. Those can be really yes. important in this labyrinthine world. For sure. Right. Um, but this looks curious. It is really uh, a, a part of the charm of Metroid, though, having this uh, renewed uh, sense of purpose in your backtracking paired with pushing forward. Yeah, I want another thing I want to pinpoint is the amount of work the dev team put in in Samus's animations like mm -hmm. just her animation of <laughs> gripping the walls when she can't move or like holding onto the ledge it's mm -hmm. just yeah, so looking around. yeah you'll notice little touches everywhere so keep an eye out for them mm -hmm. oh. that seamless transition to these sort of uh, story scenes is great Little moments like this when you're in uh, helmet view for a moment really add to the isolation uh, and the tone of this game. 
Yeah, no, this game is a, a sequel to uh, Metroid Fusion, but you can see that her suit looks a little bit different than that, so um, that'll be a story element that people will find out what happened uh, when they play the game. We don't want to spoil too much. So these are the Emmy mm -hmm. that Sakamoto-san was talking about, and none of Samus's weapons seem to do anything against yeah. them. <laughs> so run. <laughs> yep. Oh, that slide move is so cool. She looks so cool when she's yeah. sliding. <laughs> yep, it is. Nope. Okay. Oh, no, just just no. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, missiles don't work either. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, so scary. Uh, about this being called Dread, <laughs> that would be why. Yeah. They're very relentless. Oh, my. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Did a little reach for me there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that was new. Oh. Yeah. That one's clearly not well, but it's still quite frightening. Yeah. Um, I'm glad that it's a bit damaged and can't completely reach to me, but we're going to have to find a different way to tackle that enemy. You know, this thing is a uh, central unit which uh, controls various areas of the planet. Um, it's sort of a biomechanical computer, kind of an homage to uh, maybe similar units in previous Metroid games. And from this unit, uh, Samus can power up uh, get a temporary power up uh, for her um, arm cannon and turn it into the Omega cannon. Yeah, so yeah, in typical 2D Metroid fashion, we've always seen the camera like, panned around here. And now with the uh, Omega cannon ability, there's this dynamic camera that you get to see over Samus's shoulder, which is so, so cool. <laughs> Yeah, little additions like that really flesh out the classic 2D gameplay without it feeling uh, like it strays too far from what we loved about it. Mm -hmm. Just makes it seem really powerful. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. Let's see Special. if this works against our uh, our Emmy friend here. It takes a little while to charge up, so it does. Don't, don't wait too long. <laughs> okay. okay. Oh, I wanted to make sure I had it on <laughs> yep. the site. I hope you enjoyed that. That's your <laughs> one shot at it. <laughs> yeah, so it was so powerful that uh, in order to take that Emmy down, um, our, we lose the ability of the Omega Cannon, and it goes back to a regular arm cannon. It was worth it, though. We can breathe mm -hmm. easy now. It was for a moment. <laughs> I also want to point out while you're scrolling your way through all of these uh, different halls that there are so many different ways to play this game. Uh, like Teresa is amazing with a missile. She's the queen of the missiles, <laughs> but you can also just uh, shoot your regular arm cannon. Uh, you can try and avoid enemies altogether, try and hit them all. Uh, really, it's up to you what kind of Samus you want to be. Yeah, and as as uh, Audrey pointed out to earlier that you could use free aim to do more like line of sight shooting, but you could also just free aim shoot while you're moving as well. It's good because you need to shoot a lot of different things in this game. So many different <laughs> yeah. things. I want to see a pixelated door and now I'm filled with dread. <laughs> yeah, this is a, a new entryway. Um, yep, these are the entries to the various zones that the Emmy are patrolling. And uh, once you're in there, you need to be on the lookout for those. Um. Yeah, uh, you can hear in the background, the music is so atmospheric. It really puts <laughs> you on pins and needles just it listening to it. Very, I, I am completely on edge because yeah. it's like really <laughs> eerie. <laughs> Can't seem to climb these yet. Not yet. Yeah, just the detail in the backgrounds of things is great. Oh, and there you, there it is. Now, especially during moments like this, you can really appreciate how cool it is to have an HD uh, 2D Metroid game. <laughs> we we tried that already, Sam. <laughs> oh. It's not gonna work. Hey, it was worth a shot. <laughs> we'll just try one. again. Maybe we'll work on this one. Now run. <laughs> So luckily, this Emmy can't go through tight spaces. So I have an advantage here. Somehow Emmy doesn't seem oh. worried. <laughs> <laughs> oh, OK. Oh, it's fast. Oh, you're following mm -hmm. me. I see. OK, you got to 
you gotta get away from that. That's my recommendation. Yeah, when they go into this uh, <laughs> patrol mode and turn red, um, the door locks until they sort of lose track of you. It's still trying to get at her. Oh yeah, it's still <laughs> looking around, but. Ooh, try find another way to get to me. Yeah. Also, I don't know if it's my heart throbbing through my <laughs> hands or if the controller, but it's, yeah, it's pretty nerve wracking when facing the Emmy. They're terrifying mm -hmm. species. Yeah, T makes it seem like she's calm, cool, collected, <laughs> and badass. I like to pretend that she's actually as nervous as I am when I play it, but I don't think it's true. <laughs> Do you want to point out, like, also the backgrounds, like the amount of detail that the developer the development team has put into like not just the enemies in the forefront but also in the background i don't know if you guys can tell the shimmering thing in there oh, and there it's moving it move. <laughs> okay <laughs> that doesn't bode well yeah well probably Point, note that for the future uh, yeah some of those details kind of tell the story as effectively as you know uh, a voiceover or anything yeah if you want to be a bounty hunter you have to pay attention to details mm -hmm. And watch out for gooey enemies. <laughs> <laughs> this is morbid. I love the detail of like the the rib cage <laughs> in the background. You just know something went down there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, the thing about Metroid enemies too is that some of them have patterns and and you can counter them, um, and others don't. Like this one. So I'm just gonna <laughs> just blast him. <laughs> move him out of the way so I can use it. Um, and this room is a communication room with Adam, who happens to be um, Samus's uh, ship's PC or computer. Uh, we're going to skip this part here just because we don't want to spoil any of the lore. But Dan, if you could summarize for the folks at home. Yeah, so as Samus is exploring, uh, she uploads data to Adam, their ship's AI, and Adam kind of gives little analysis, um, just, just really hints though, not necessarily uh, telling you where to go or anything like that. It's still up to you to kind of explore, but there's some interesting lore in there and um, you know, some, some little hints that you can uh, potentially use. And um, in that one, Adam was basically summarizing the, uh, the Emmy and kind of the limits that they have of patrolling a zone and um, also how dangerous they are, which we've, we've kind of seen, but hopefully we won't see too much firsthand here. Also, you can see T doing a great job of just shooting at the environment, looking for secrets, looking for a way forward, because it's not always going to be obvious. You really have to, it's like a puzzle. Mm -hmm. It's not just action, it's not just exploration. There's also a lot of puzzle elements here trying to find the way forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's really cool too how Metroid Dread does this really sweet balance of, you know, the moments where you're allowed to have like some quiet to, uh, solve the puzzles, and then it's interspersed with this really heavy, intense action. Yeah. So here's nope. the, uh, oh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> nope. Um, that was uh, the Emmy, as Dan had mentioned, they have kind of three modes. One is the surveillance, the other is, uh, which is uh, marked with blue. They're just scanning the area. Um, this red mode is so bad intense. One. I'm like yeah, this, playing this a mode. game of chase with so it. Fast. With it. Oh, God. Um, and then when it has Samus on I, uh, eyesight, uh, it turns red, which is the um, chase mode. Oh, her. Yeah. So yellow is, it's heard, it's heard a noise or sense the vibration, and it's going to go investigate that. Oh. Oh, oh gosh. Here's... No. And... <laughs> No. Oh. 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 So the Emmy uh, are pretty re relentless and ruthless. Uh, it is sort of like a permadeath, which is very unusual um, for you know, enemies with uh, in the Metroid series. But luckily, it's not very. It's the game's pretty forgiving. Uh, it allows you to respawn at an area that you were in recently, so we're able to just go back and counter that. Again, yeah, as T said, Insta Kill is new to the series, but uh, it's really great because it offers a chance for you to have that challenging difficulty that I think Metroid fans expect, but without being quite so punishing with the respawning that you just have to play the whole game to get back to where you are. So it's a really wonderful balance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and when the Emmy are in patrol mode, which is that uh, right now, it's in pursuit of me. Um, 
they're scanning areas where they last sensed movement. Mm -hmm. And so they'll go and investigate it. And then if they see something in eyesight, then they'll go chase it. Mm -hmm. This is such a, a small but really neat touch, the way that Samus moves slower in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the audio change, too. Yeah. I mm -hmm. absolutely love that detail. Allies, oh, there's always one little <laughs> That one straggler there. <laughs> I don't need a save. I I'm feeling brave. <laughs> Nice dash melee. See, that really shows how you, you don't have to, to stop to fight these enemies. If you really master that dash melee, you can just mm -hmm. kind of run and gun. Mm -hmm. So water puzzle. Yeah. really love the animation of the water flowing from one area to mm -hmm. the next. Such a cool detail. Yeah. Now that the water level's changed, you have access to other areas. And here is uh, a map room. So uh, interacting with these room will grant me more visibility to the um, area that I'm currently in. Um, so we sort of lightly touched on um, the, the narrative of this game, which occurs in the events post uh, Metroid Fusion. And so that's why Samus's look um, looks different. But um, also to point out, back to Audrey's point about, you know, the game is about exploration and action. And so this area of uh, map uh, upgrade allowed me to see more about the map, but you can see that there's still a lot of obscurity here. And so you need to explore in order to uncover more of the area and also um, any secrets involved. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's also worth noting that uh, this series and this game is full of really juicy lore. So <laughs> uh, whether you're a new or a returning Metroid fan, uh, if you've never played a Metroid game before, it really gets you up to speed with anything you need to know to enjoy the story. And if you are a longtime Metroid fan, you have a lot to look forward to. Uh, as Sakamoto-san said, this concludes the story arc between Samus and the Metroids. So uh, we've been waiting a long time for this and it delivers. It's that little enemy that uh, Teresa just blew up. It's kind of like an item pinata. It gives you <laughs> a lot of <laughs> missiles. Yeah, defeating enemies is a, definitely oh. a boon because oh, um, <laughs> it grants you replenishment for e for energy and also um, missiles. So definitely want to defeat enemies for that. Yeah. I just didn't expect the Emmy to be right on top of me when I <laughs> destroy the autools. That little beeping sound, just I hear oh, it yeah. in my nightmares now. <laughs> they always come up with... Oh, he's persistent. Oh, it's yeah. persistent. Very I, convenient. <laughs> Another little interesting detail about this game is normally in Metroid games, you start at the surface of the planet and you work your way deeper. But in this game, you actually start deep within the planet and try and work your way to the surface. And so that, that yearning towards ascension really adds to the tone of this game as well. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was oh, a that sick slide. Really cool. oh, <laughs> I also love that you don't have to necessarily wait for an enemy to attack in order to counter in this game. If, if you keep an eye out, you can actually sometimes mm -hmm. counter before they, if they start their attack. Here's a throwback. Mm. So <laughs> I have to use a missile in order to destroy that cover and then I'm able to access that door. Just one missile though, that's good. Oh, of course. There you go. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. That's the other thing about the uh, dash melee is that uh, if you use that on an enemy, you will get, I think, a few more extra items. Here's our first upgrade, the charge beam. So very iconic to the Metroid series. Um, so Samus you know, starts off without any abilities and slowly um, becomes more powerful and able to tackle 
um, stronger foes, but also be able to uncover or explore new areas that we weren't able to before. Yeah, and uh, suit upgrades are another classic part of Metroid gameplay that is alive and well in this game. I love you can see if you keep an eye on the background and stuff, there are all kind of uh, cool statues and architecture that mm -hmm. really uh, piques your curiosity about the lore of this world. Nice. I love that too, mm -hmm. using the charge beam to make a charge beam spin attack and defeat mm -hmm. some of those enemies is really handy. Oh, that feels good. <laughs> Got some more life, which is always a plus for me. Mm -hmm. Need that. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, look at all those items. Yeah, T's doing a great job of showing that once you you really get to know these abilities and uh, become adept at them, you, you start to feel like Samus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> at first you're like, mm, maybe not quite there, but once you get the hang of it, you, you really start to feel like a badass bounty hunter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's just so smooth. It's like she's parkouring through this. <laughs> mm -hmm. There's more great architecture, but we're not here to look at architecture. We're here to shoot things <laughs> and explore. Yes. Doors. So now we can't go through this area because of the water, so we're not able to slide. But we are able to access this door that we weren't to before. Ah, and here's another Emmy door. Um, but in order to not spoil any more surprises here, we're going to leave this as a cliffhanger and uh, end our uh, We were able to defeat the last Emmy. Um, and we're on our way. Uh, we got a new ability. And so we're going to showcase that. Um, we're also going to go a little bit faster in this segment just to show more of Samus's really free flowing movement. Uh, so speaking of that new ability, uh, we now have Spider Magnet, uh, which is really cool. Now is uh, allowing us to climb these uh, blue magnetic strips here. So, and Samus looks pretty darn cool while she's climbing, I must say. Yeah. yeah. Just traverse directly <laughs> from uh, horizontal to vertical there. And this uh, creature over here is uh, blocking my pathway, and it's getting a little bit more jittery as I get closer to it. That's really creepy. Maybe I can <laughs> coerce it out. Insecty sounds. <laughs> Oof. Worm door. I also want to note for uh, anyone who hasn't yet seen the first segment, this is the first new 2D Metroid in 19 years. So this is very, very exciting for, for Metroid fans. Yeah, I liked how you countered that worm and shot it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's so each here. enemy has like their patterns to learn. So you definitely mm -hmm. want to watch and see how you can counter them or if you need to yeah. tackle them in a different way. Oh, no. Uh oh. So this is Corpius. Uh, he is one of the bosses that you'll encounter in Metroid Dread. Uh, we happen to see him uh, very briefly in the first segment. He was, it was the very shimmery uh, creature that was lurking in the background. Mm -hmm. No longer lurking. No. Yeah, no. Yeah. He's blurping. <laughs> <laughs> he, He's just, he just shot that projectile <laughs> that he shot out of his mouth and got some missiles. So. Mm -hmm. Yep. Having good aim is, is in your favor here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's very key to learn the boss's patterns, but also find where to hurt him. And it looks like his face is the weak spot right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that tail is pretty deadly, so you don't want to keep your distance. Mm -hmm. And of course, as always, you want to keep an eye on your missile count. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, so since my missile count's running low, I'm going to use Charge Beam, which is also effective. And now he turned invisible. Yeah, well, Great. What he needed was to be invisible. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. That makes it a Life little bit harder to yeah. find <laughs> its face, but I can try. Otherwise, I could see, yep. So yeah. that little glowy point 
seems to be a weak spot too. Try to aim for that. Pick low, shoot it. It's a good maxim for video games in general. Got this. And now it's throwing a tantrum, mm -hmm. so it broke some of the environment. I see some blue magnetic magnetic strips there, which I could probably use to my advantage. Oh. And now it reared its ugly head and turned to its backside, which is probably its best side. <laughs> it's I also rearing for bad. something. I don't, ow, oh, no. okay. No. Mm. All right. Oh, nice, oh, nice. slide. So we're turning here to a cinematic, but I am effectively throwing missiles at uh, Corpius's face here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's another one of those really dynamic camera angles there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, jumping right right into a boss fight is a Why really are you good back? way to oh. show. <laughs> okay, yep, so those magnetic strips were very handy there. Yep, you have to use <laughs> all of your abilities uh, if you're gonna be- Oops. Okay. And that poison gas doesn't look too healthy. <laughs> Ow. Oh, nice. you're mean. This one's always trying to back you into a corner, too. It's not very nice. If you, if you stay up there, uh, his tail will go for you as well. So there's no <laughs> really safe spot. Oh. May I come alert? Yes. Oh, that one. Get stuck, buddy. Nope. Missiles, yay. Okay, where are you again? Oh. oh. Tricked me. Yep. What are you doing? Oh, no. Oh. I know your game. <laughs> no, thank you. Not today. Oh. I don't think he's going to like this. Eat missiles. <laughs> One last charge beam for effect. Mm -hmm. I think you got him. That's it. <gasps> Look at Samus. <laughs> that Samus beautiful so pose. Cool. Yep. Mm -hmm. Nothing scares Samus. So good. <laughs> Oh, look at that spin right <laughs> through the tail. 10-10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you get a really good look at her suit here. Yeah, I'd be watching for a moment, too. Like, are you going to stay down? <laughs> yeah. Hold that pose. Yeah. Ooh, what did we get? Ah, uh, yeah. Phantom Cloak. Of course. That's how Corpius was turning invisible. So the Phantom Cloak was uh, previewed and mentioned by Sakamoto-san in his uh, video earlier this morning. Um, it is an Aeon ability. And for some of you at home who have played, Metroid Samus Returns may recognize Aeon abilities, but these are brand new and they play very differently in Metroid Dread. Yeah, you find new Aeon abilities, and this one actually, uh, it's more of an endurance gauge, so it fills up over time. But you really, really want to keep a close eye on it, because the last thing you want is for your Phantom Cloak to disappear when you really need it. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's actually showcase it here. So before, I wasn't able to go through these doors. Um, they're called Presence Doors, but now, with the Phantom Cloak, I'm able to move, progress through them. Mm -hmm. um, I am moving a lot slower with the Phantom Cloak, and as you can see, the energy gauge right underneath is slowly decreasing. But as I move, it decreases even faster. And once it's depleted, it starts taking away from my health. So I have to deactivate it. Um, I can replenish it really quickly by moving. And then only then can I reactivate it again. Take this elevator up. Thank you. Yeah, 
Yeah, just like the other abilities, this opens up new areas that you can go and explore, being able to go through those present stores. So, a uh, whole lot more adventure to, to unravel here. Love this view. Th that background is so beautiful. Yeah, this is a new section of this world filled with magma. Just in case. Oh. <laughs> Those flying guys can be such a nuisance when you're trying to get across Oh, there. they can be. You handled them very readily. Yeah, you made Thank that look you. easy. <laughs> <laughs> now flamethrowers. Mm -hmm. Get away from me. <laughs> nice. Uh, this is really cool. So um, we're still in the area of Arteria, which is the very beginning part of the game. And this is a feature, which is an elevator that allows you to uh, travel to different parts of planet ZDR. Um, so now we're moving to Cataris. And as you can see in the map, um, this game plays very differently where you start from the center core of the planet and you're working your way up all the way to Samus' ship. So um, it is a very different feeling really builds up on the uh do i say dread <laughs> isolation <laughs> it really does it showed you had kind of a long way to go to the surface there too mm -hmm. that little dot at the top was your ship here's a moment for us to <laughs> not be you know attacked and also enjoy this beautiful hd graphics <laughs> a little reprieve <laughs> All right, so this is Cataris. Let's explore. Mm -hmm. Ow. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> Welcoming committee. You can't rest These on your laurels for a minute in this game. Oh yeah, not at all. These enemies are different too. Uh, as you can see, their counter is very uh, different. Um, um, but they are really cool, very satisfying to counter. Mm -hmm. Uh, and that place is very hot. We don't have an upgrade for that yet, so we'll have to come back later and explore it when we do have an available an a, a ability to explore it. So, ah, that looks like an area. Oh, <laughs> and yes, when in doubt, rush here. <laughs> Start blasting. Sneaky. No. no. Oh. <laughs> You never underestimate the little enemies. They mm -hmm. can really mess you up. They can, especially those. They're mm -hmm. very, ooh, very agile. Mm -hmm. You can see as you learn the enemy's patterns, you can see tells for when they're about to attack a lot of times, and that'll help you know when to counter. I really love the dash melee ability. Mm -hmm. It allows me to effectively get uh, rid of some enemies really quickly. So this is another uh, communication room uh, where we'll be able to communicate with Adam. And I kind of want to make it clear too that uh, Adam is uh, Samus's uh, ship's computer. Uh, we're going to skip through this area really quickly and have Dan kind of summarize what uh, Adam says. But Adam is just a point for lore. Uh, does not do e give any direction to Samus. It is up to the player to choose where they want to na navigate and where to explore. But yeah, yeah we're only cutting away because we don't want to give away any juicy lore tidbits. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And basically, he was just talking about how this area is sort of the thermal power for um, the, the planet. And um, by redirecting that power, you can potentially open up other areas. And he also had a few little tidbits about the Phantom Cloak, which we, we already knew about how that gauge worked, thanks to Teresa's explanation. All right. Oh. You look in the background, you can see magma flowing through some of those pipes, but not the others. Yeah, all of these pipes are very interesting, and this mysterious door opened up, too. Oh. <laughs> Here's an interactable, which allows, uh, so this area of Cataris uh, controls the magma uh, flow of the planet. And so we're able through these interactables, uh, change the flow 
to access other areas. So now because we changed the thermal flow, we're not able to backtrack to where we were. So find a different path. It's such a niche touch that something we were just talking about in the background actually has a uh, game plane component. Mm -hmm. No. And there we can see that magma flowing through those pipes. Yep. Oh, and that opened that doorway there. As uh, Teresa is very well aware, there's such a, a diverse uh, amount of life in <laughs> in this world. So many different kinds of alien creatures that maybe not when they're mercilessly attacking you, but it's really neat to otherwise <laughs> to yeah. see such uh, different uh, alien creatures. Nope. <laughs> no, thank you. Look at that background. Mm -hmm. It's just beautiful. Ooh, oh, watch out for him. These, these enemies are pretty gnarly. Uh, they throw little uh, balls of hurt <laughs> that I don't particularly enjoy. <gasps> Maybe not stay in the spawning point of the yeah. enemy. Oh, that would be good. A pixelated door. No, you're doing right. what that means. Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, here we go. Yep. So this door leads to another Emmy zone. Mm-hmm. So I believe we're gonna That sense of dread you're Emmy. feeling is very warranted. <laughs> well I feel it. Sure. I, I feel it. Um, have their little beeping. Ah, uh, that was beeping. It's blue though, look. Yeah, so Samus has been able to use the Phantom Cloak to her advantage by escaping uh, this Emmy. And this Emmy can crawl through tight spaces, so it's pretty formidable. Um, yeah, really liking that Phantom Cloak about mm -hmm. now. <laughs> okay, I need, I need to not be hearing those beeps. They yeah. scare me. <laughs> <laughs> the beeps. Oh. Oh, Ooh. It's oh, it's watch it. out. Oh, see, it, it heard that noise, and so it's now oh. in yellow mode. Ooh. Please don't notice me. Go well, away. well used phantom cloak mm -hmm. there. <laughs> Go away. That saved your tail. So you can see okay. in the mini map, the little red dot is the Emmy. It is still nearby. I. Making sure that it doesn't hear me. Okay. We're good. Oh, oh, auto tool, why oh, would you no. do this to me? Because <laughs> it wanted to give you some items. No, oh, okay. Maybe I didn't call the Emmy to my... No? Oh, why? This oh. Blend in with the background. Yeah, I, I need these guys to just go away. <laughs> Getting some good missiles, though. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right, I have the spider magnet ability. I should just use it. All right, let's see. There's nothing here. Sounds oh, like there's something here. <laughs> there's something there. No, 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 Rohan. please. Really want to stay at a distance from. Oh, I didn't notice you. You're so sneaky. Mm -hmm. Emmys, because if they get up close and personal, it's not going to be in your favor most of the time. Go away. Please. Go. Please go away. <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> Meanwhile, your gauge is just getting lower mm -hmm. and lower. No, don't 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 uh, say that. No, it's I mean fine. I mean it's fine. It's, it's all fine. fine. <laughs> I hope. Okay. Yep, yep, you you keep going that way, buddy. Okay. Nothing to see here. No, it's still there. I think it went the direction oh, that I want to go. Oh, no! No! It hurt no. You run! Uh, can I trick it? Every bounty hunter for themselves. Yep. <laughs> I'm brave. Oh. I will escape you. 
so when it turns in turns red with pursuit mode, it will still be able to Oh, we've got a charge. Hurry, hurry. No! <gasps> Even if you phantom cloak. Oh, no. Oh, no. No! Oh. Oh. The Emmys so are brutal, okay. brutal to dodge. They're that nearly impossible <laughs> to uh, counter. Oof. All right, let's try this again. Oh, Back man. into the wolf's den we go. <laughs> Skip that cutscene. It's glorious, but mm -hmm. we've already seen it. We've got business. Oh, you're there already. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm. Waiting. I don't like you. You're mean. I think that's fair. <laughs> Maybe I, I I can outrun it. <laughs> oh, kidding. Open faster, yeah. please. <laughs> okay. All right. Awesome. <laughs> All right. So that here's the sounds another. gone. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so redirecting the thermal fuel. Let's follow it and see where it goes. Yeah, you can actually follow that pipe in the background and see what you've done. <laughs> oh, oh no! Why? <laughs> no, 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 buddy! Wow. Uh, no! 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 Ah! Oh, no. <laughs> oh, here comes the dread. Yes. So vicious. Okay, so Sneaky there. stopped here, which is good. I'm just gonna be more cautious to make sure he's not anywhere near me. Okay. When you finally get out of the Emmy room, you feel so safe, but then... It's deceiving. <laughs> yeah. It's deceiving, <laughs> yes. And you're going to have to go back in there several times. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. It's not a linear <laughs> progression. They you. are so stop mean. <laughs> they need to stop that. Nice. Yeah, nice. Get rid of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they are only trouble if you leave them there. You learn that pretty quick. <laughs> See any more? No. Nope, oh, one. you. Who's that guy? Oh, nice. Yeah. I love the music. It just amplifies mm -hmm. so atmospheric. the intensity. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's worth noting for anybody who's new to the Metroid series that uh, this is Samus, of course, and she's the protagonist in all of the games. So this might be terribly frightening to us, but this is just a matter of due course for Samus. <laughs> she has been through a lot, and it's just a testament to how amazing she is that she has survived all of it. Yeah, and even if you may be new to the franchise, it's totally okay because the game does a really great job at giving you um, a summary of what has transpired before. Um, so it's really, um, it's pretty good, easy to pick up, especially if this is your first game mm -hmm. um, in the series. Um, and also, if you don't know who Samus is, but you know maybe Samus the fighter in Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, same character. Yeah, mm -hmm. find out how she earned her stripes. <laughs> Oh. oh no! Mm -mm. <laughs> I I just love watching Samus slide. <laughs> it's such a great animation. Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope. And another way to use your phantom cloak to get through that door. I don't know if anyone else is forgetting to breathe. Remember <laughs> to breathe. I, I did. <laughs> oh. All right. 
Well, this statue looks really mysterious, but uh, this is the cliffhanger. We're going to stop here because, uh, again,